I've got Omar here on Stingray doing one of my favorite drills. It's called the tap tap drill. The reason it's called tap tap is you're looking to move side to side and you're looking to tap and then quickly across tap and simplify things up. But there's a few little coaching points that I want to talk about that he's not quite doing right and we want to fix. First thing you'll probably notice here, as he's moving across, let's just have a look at his body position. Look how open he is. Everything to look at the front wall. He's opened up way too early. And at that position, it just, he's having to steer the ball now, isn't he? When, um, when I, I do this, and, and you've probably seen me do it in another video where I'm doing a side to side, I'm trying to make sure that I'm really getting as side on as possible and working on my ability to reach for the ball and be nice and strong through the shoulders, the chest, and the core. Whereas for me, the big thing that Omar's done, and just in this one, I think he gets it right in some of the others, notice that how he goes across. That foot needs to be side on. That, that, that lunge has to be side on. If it's going and it's looking at the front wall, it all gets a little bit messy. And we've done a lot of work, and he's, he's actually starting to do really well with this. He used to have a really twiddly wrist. They had that classic twiddly wrist, but bit by bit, he's getting better at it. He's, sh he's shopping it up. He's doing it less and less. But this body position definitely needs to neaten up a little bit. So let's go through it and let's see how he's doing. One of the things I've got to commend him on, he's really high up on that tee. He's really hunts the volley and he's doing all he can to dominate that tee area, which is a key part of squash, which we need to get better at. He's really quick and light across, moves across, does well there with the, the, the step. Slightly better. I just think he goes a bit early and gets a bit close and possibly also maybe too high up. But you can just see there, it just looks awkward, doesn't it? You know, you can just see he's, cramping up his shoulder there. Everything looks a little bit tense at that position. It's all a bit close. And he does really well to get it there. And, you know, he's being very determined with where his follow through should be going. Ideally, it should be going a little bit more to the target area. He has to pull it across his body a little bit, but does relatively okay with steering it in there. He does quite nice on this one. You know, he's stepping in there, lunge, doesn't reach as much as I would like. This exercise, like I say, tap, tap. I want him to get his racket about there. Tap the ball, very simple, imagine that forehand volley drop and making sure that arm is not bent. That bent arm is the thing we're working on to try get him to reach more, open up that elbow and push it out there. You can just see he's so, he's almost too comfortable getting too close to the ball. And that's something we need to get more and more better at. Look, good movement. He pushes off, nice lunge. I'm liking what he's doing in his lower half. He's dragging his back foot. He's got his lead knee loaded. So then all of that stored energy can pop back out, hunting for that next shot. Does really well there. I would like to see him take that foot behind him, not in front of him. If you can take it behind, that makes a big difference. I think he does it well in some of the others. He possibly, this is again a little bad habit, just notice his head. He's already looking at the front wall. Yes, I know it's a machine and I know it's very tempting to look at the front wall. It's not an opponent hitting, so, so I know some of those things don't quite correlate but I would really recommend that he looks at the machine a little bit more. Moves across, and yeah, you can see very similar patterns, can't you? That was slightly better with the reach. Maybe the ball forced him to reach there, and you can see he's a little bit more side on. But there's too much of a tendency for him to get behind the ball and then have to deal with it from there. Again, a little bit sloppy in that swing. Not quite the volley drop I'm looking for because I want him, like I said before, to get the racket head up and out and look to reach for the ball make contact there. And just a quick little side note, again, I've just noticed this as well. Look at that foot, too open, isn't it? He's opened up too much. I'm, I'm really big on ghosting. Let's get this ghosting position way, way better. Reason I say that, it's, it's a perfect position. There's no distraction there whatsoever. There's no ball. There's nothing to make you glitch in a way, if you think about that. And even with no ball, look at the bad habit. Little foot going in there, arm a little bit bent, a little bit of a sloppy swing that goes down rather than using this to code yourself to be perfect. That for me should be pretty much 100% perfect. When you're ghosting, really emphasize and make sure you're working on those things. Again, if you've seen that other video with me doing it, have a little look on my channel, you might find it. There's things I talk about a lot there about, you know, almost the perfection of ghosting is really key. So again, there's going to be similar things. You're seeing and noticing the things yourself now. It does a really good shot there. And it's just that bad habit of getting behind the ball, getting too open, and having to almost really overcompensate with the swing, and he can tidy that up. But listen, this is the first time he's done it. I think we did a few. This was really at the beginning of the session. We'd fixed a few of these things, and by the end, he started getting a lot better at it. 
that's better, Omar. Well done. Nice. Good reach. Unfortunately, again, that foot looking too open. So I can't wait to jump on him with, with him next time because we are going to work so hard at getting that foot side on. That's the big, big takeaway message from this. So I'm sure he's watching and I'm sure he's going to go and work on this as well. And the way you work on this, guys and girls, it's just by ghosting. Honestly, don't think of ghosting as this big, scary thing that is a massive fitness thing that you need to beast yourself. It's a technical thing. There, look, he, he knows he can do it. And there, perfect, reached. That's what we're looking for. More and more of that. So listen, for me, a couple of big ticks there. Well done. That is what we want to get better at. So let's look at the last few. I think there's going to be similar things. Again, could he bring that foot behind him when he's moving across? That might be the, the thing there straight away. As he's moved across, he's almost too open. Like everything has now gone open. And then it's so tempting just to stay open, get behind the ball like he's doing there, and then steer it in. Good, decent reach. Still looks a bit cramped in the shoulder. Looks quite tense. You almost see like his neck disappearing because everything's like hunched up a little bit there now. I would like to see him bring that foot across. He does it well on this side. Look there. He does really well there. Look, he brings it across under. Ah, uh, then he just gets into that super open position again. So again, really good to take this deep dive analysis on what he's doing with that tap, tap drill moving side to side. So anyone that's liking this, please do comment, share, ask some questions. Click on the link in the description below. You can grab your free swing audit. More than happy to put these out there that everyone in the squash community can learn from this. And I will hopefully see you at a future video soon. Take care for now. Bye.